Hey everyone, it's Zai, and I am four days post-op. Still in the binder. I do have my little reveal tomorrow, and like, taking the bandages off with the doctor. There will be a video for that very soon, so keep your eyes out, but basically I'm gonna tell you how I've been feeling the last few days, and what's been going on, and what I'm not able to do, what I'm able to do. So initially, after leaving the hospital, I got home, went to sleep, whatever. I was not well. My It basically feels like my pec muscles are really sore, kind of like you worked out really hard, except even worse. Um, you can't reach high because there's internal stitches into the muscle. Um, certain movements I can't do. I can't lay on my side. Like, even if I laid down and tried to turn on my side, this is, like, preventing me from even turning my body like that. Um, I've been, like, hunching over a lot because it's really hard to sit up straight. It's as if it's pulling me down like that. Um, I have to like grab it here and push it up for me to, to stand up straight. It's been crappy on my back. I've been laying down a lot. And the first day or two, I did have like a fever and I did kind of feel sick. I feel better now. I've been taking vitamin C, so that's definitely something I recommend you get beforehand is some vitamin C. I've been eating like soup and chicken and things that are, you know, like easy on your stomach because that's what you're supposed to do. I have to sleep on my back and I don't like sleeping on my back. It's really uncomfortable. Um, my shoulder joints here have been hurting from sleeping on my back. I know that sounds weird, but it makes them really fucking hurt. I do get random little sharp pains wherever my incisions or nipples or something in here is. Um, it's not bad. I, I don't take the pain medication very much. I take it maybe once a day. I have a little bit of bruising, as you can see. <laughs> it's like yellowish, like they're healing. I obviously haven't seen under here yet. I'm doing a note that I asked for straight incisions, so we're gonna hope and pray that they're pretty straight. <laughs> it's getting easier to like get up on my own, like sit up from a bed, because initially like setting up from a bed, it would really hurt my chest like to set up and stuff like that. And a lot of times you push yourself up like this, you can't really do that because the muscles just like are not having it. But it's day four and I can kind of just like <sighs> and get my ass up. I'm definitely feeling a lot better than the first two or three days. The binder is really terrible. I just, I felt like I wasn't prepared for that. I didn't realize how miserable it would be. It's not like a normal binder that you wear. It's like a cinder block on your chest. It's really tight. I had to have it loosened twice. It's coming off tomorrow, so I'm happy about that. I'm getting um, tingly feelings like around my incisions or nipples, like the nerves are doing stuff. Um, I don't know if it's too early for that, but some people say the tingling is like nerves reconnecting. But I've been getting tingly feelings, I think after like day two or three, and it's day four. I feel ghost tits. Like, I don't feel like they're gone because there's so much padding right here. Like, look at this, it looks like... Yeah. But, maybe when it comes off, I'll feel like they're actually fully gone. We'll see. Overall, I'm doing a lot better now, and yeah, so if you're getting top surgery, just expect to possibly get a fever, possibly feel sick or down the next couple days, so get vitamins, you know, make sure you're getting enough water and eat things that are easy on your stomach, like soup or chicken and things like that, because anesthesia kind of like puts your, puts your gut to sleep, apparently. Isn't that fun? It sucks not be able to shower, just on a random note, so make sure you have body wipes too. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what's going on under here. Um, I'm very worried about a few things, but we're gonna see what, what's up with it, and hope it's all good. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and the update, and peace out, y'all. Oh my god, why do I look so tiny? I look really tiny. I'm not really tiny, y'all. I'm big. I wish I was tiny. Wait, I want to look how tiny it's like a twink. You are a twink.